And I think um, the, uh, yeah, the park and the events are outstanding and just continue the customer relations focus there. On the parking data that we were talking about, uh, may I suggest, uh, just because it's like raw data, and since it's retrospective anyway, it's sort of it's useful to you on the day to day to look at the trends and whether to stay open or whatever. And I really appreciate how you're doing a great job with that, by the way. But since it's like rear view mirror stuff for us, I would suggest you take the time to informationalize it so we have some headlines okay. and those trends, because that's how it would be useful, I think, for us in terms of setting the next policy. So don't you know you have enough going on? It sounds and. Um, and, and just in general, your ability to, uh, we're, we're going to get into the numbers now actually, but when you look at the budget and you look at the actuals, but when you look at the way you guys have been able to adjust the staffing with the revenue, I think you've done an outstanding job. You really, really have. And you've taken the operation up a bunch of notches actually. Yeah, well, yeah. What about 20,000 under? Wow. That's a day to day thing. That's wow. That's great. Wow. Yeah. Well, my staff gets great. Yeah. We'll thank them also, all of you as well. Yeah, no, it's a great team effort. It really is. And just over the years that I've sat on the commission, I really think uh, that, you know, it's high performance now. Okay, Bishop. All right. Thank you. I'll uh, try just to hit the hot spots, uh, if you will. Um, if you look at it, you'll see that uh, right now we're to the good $77,000, give or take. Uh, but there's some nuances to the numbers, and I just want to make sure you realize. Um, rental income, you know, Seaside Johnny's just paid late. Uh, you know, we should have booked another $35,000 there. Uh, we will, you know, get that, and, and that number will come in pretty much as budgeted. Call your attention to permits. We're... Uh, Geez, you know, uh, twelve thousand dollars over in permits this year. Uh, but if you look at the detail on the next page, uh, you'll see that the majority of that is uh, seniors uh, and uh, non-resident seniors and non-resident singles. Uh, that's that's where most of that money came from. Uh, but still, we're good. no, we're, it's an uptick. It's good. Yeah, yeah. It, we're way ahead. Yeah. Uh, I do want to call your attention to the grant income, uh, the Hurricane Irene uh, scenario. We did file with FEMA. FEMA, mm -hmm. uh, FEMA has paid us a grand total of 21289 when we received the money. Uh, so uh, uh, that is going to go toward offsetting the costs of the beach sand, uh, offsetting the cost of redoing the boardwalk. Uh, we regraded the boardwalk. Uh, and uh, that will also go toward, hang on a second, uh, those two things and grading the beach. Uh, so what will happen is, is we'll see a nice impact in terms of our operating expenses when we finally book uh, all of those numbers. So it's not already in here? Well, yeah, it's 13, in the revenue. 13, yeah. uh, we only booked that because we've only paid two items, we still have an item that has to be paid. So we will spend the entire 21 so and what you'll eight. see is they'll offset each other. Yeah. But it's really not a grant, though. We should probably call it something else. Reimbursement. Well, it's, it's, a a, it's a reimbursement. Right, it's reimbursement. Right. It's, it's a one-time. It's like an insurance reimbursement for the most part. And what's the highlight on the other revenue, primarily? Well, on the other income, uh, we're expecting that we're going to come in very close to budget. What we're missing, for example, we were not paid yet for uh, the volleyball people on the beach. Uh, so they owe us something in the neighborhood of about $5,500. That's what uh, their season activities. is just over. Yeah. You know, so we're, is we're, that is that normal? Yes. Is this consistent that it lags? Well, they pay us at the end of the season, season, end of their season, because they're collecting from their various people. Right. Uh, they had a great season, yeah. and yeah. as I said, we're expecting somewhere around fifty-seven hundred dollars. Uh, from them, and that should be booked into uh, that, that other income. Mm -hmm. uh, we are behind in collecting on uh, Seaside Johnny's uh, uh, party revenue. Not a lot of money, but you know, three or four thousand dollars. They're always lagging behind as well. Uh, and uh, again, we feel we're going to pretty much, we're certainly going to meet our uh, 2011 number. Uh, whether we uh, hit uh, the 2012 budget number, I'm not sure. Uh, you zip down to labor, Fred already said, we're, as of right now, $21,000 under on a, on a comparable basis, in other words, comparable pay period. So on a year-to-day basis, we're controlling our labor costs better than we did last year. Yeah, my, and I thought we did a good job last year. No, but this is, uh, this is really outstanding because you have a revenue shortfall. You're just yes, talking about that's it, right? correct. You're looking at the numbers that's and correct. you were able to tee it. 
to tweak um, it down. Yeah, that's great. Right. Unemployment insurance, we're not sure what's happening there. Um, I can only give you a vignette at the moment. Uh, certainly, we've made the change in terms of uh, segregating Rye Town Park from the town of Rye. We have our own unemployment account, and we're paying. Uh, we're going to, you know, we're paying those fees. The the problem I see right now is what happened just this week. We are still getting claims from last year. <laughs> Uh, and we had a gentleman that uh, was let go, and, and uh, we just got the claim uh, uh, notice uh, Monday in the mail. And uh, his last day of work with us was September of last year. Wow. So uh, uh, these are the kinds of things that unemployment is, is still a sticky, uh, sticky wicket. Uh, but we feel that we're on the right track with unemployment. We're not going to see the same kind of uh, numbers that we saw in previous years, the last two years. Um, rest of the stuff, we're on track almost all the way down the line. I just want to call your attention to equipment <coughs> repairs. You'll see that we're already over budget there. Mm -hmm. uh, we had a $3,800 expense to repair our beach tractor. Our beach tractor is borderline 30 years old. Uh, and uh, we are probably going to be asking you in next year's budget to have some sort of an allocation to replace that piece of equipment. That what, is, what is that? The word, what does something like that cost? Uh, yeah. We had costed out. When I said we costed out uh, used ones that are what I call very lightly it's used, meaning price is right. two to three years old. Yeah, go ahead. Two to three years old. You're talking twenty-five grand. Okay, here's my other question. Thirty-five thousand brand new. We used fully to, equipped. We used to, and I don't know if we do. We used to um, uh, supplement the village of Amaranik, uh with our with our rake. Do yeah. we still do that? No. They have, they, they have their own now. Okay, so there's the perfect opportunity <laughs> to ask the favor to come back to us now. So I'm going to tell you before, and this is just me just this one night here, I would suggest that before you invest any more money into this piece of machinery, um, going forward, call the village of Mamaronek and say, it's been great supporting you over these past few years. Now we need a little help ourselves. How often do you rake the beach? If you don't? Every day. Every day. Yeah, say it's so done every morning. And, and I'm not sure if that's going to be a practical solution. Yeah, if but maybe the county. I think Mr. Villanova was onto something. I mean, can the county just keep breaking our way? You know, they have to do the play. Yeah, I mean, beach. that's something that we intend to try. But maybe they don't do as nice. They open up that gate. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. That's uh, honestly, they yeah. just keep going. Put, you know? well, was, Although the there's a rock, there's probably yeah. a jetty in the way, actually. Right. I think. Well, no, there's a gate there. There's a okay. gate. There's a double well, wide that gate. May be that may be working. You know? But honestly, yeah. Yeah, if they charge yeah. you five grand a year, we'll look at some old What's the useful life of a used tractor? You have to look at the numbers. Well, Ours is 30 years, obviously. Yeah, yeah. No, that's, but that's it. 25 grand is like two years. Sam, what is that? It's like our, pennies our a day, right? Our priorities are Queen Beach and Queen Beach. Yeah. yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, I didn't. Yeah, you have no, the cost is just about thirty-five thousand. Well, brand new is thirty-five thousand. You can get them on, used. You can get them on the used market for in the twenties. That's a thousand dollars a year if you amortize it out over twenty years. Yeah. Yeah. All right, all right, and and it is a crucial piece of equipment for us. And then lastly, if you'll look down below on the capital improvements and FEMA costs, all right, that's where we're going to offset it. The capital costs will fall below the line. Uh, so when you look at the 149 uh, in terms of uh, operating and maintenance expenses, you know you more or less have to take the 21 out of there uh, because that's going to be part of the 70,000 that we budgeted. Can you tell us a little bit about what's happening today? It's August 21st. And we've had some really inclement weather. Some of the weekends haven't been quite as good we, in August. Well, year to year, August, we are already at. Last year's full month August numbers. No, well, last, we're, last month's August we had. <laughs> last year's August we only did 104,000 total for the month. Mm -hmm. We're already there, and we still have 10 days. That's to go. why you say you're confident you could. We're less confident we're going to be picking up yeah. a That's little right. bit. <clears throat> Where we're going to lose it, however, is when you look at Labor Day and the way the calendar works on Labor Day. We have Labor Day is on the 3rd. You only have three days in September where you know, sometimes you have as many as eight days in September. So uh, we're not going to see very much uh, revenue in September. Last year we did 32000 uh, This year I'd be happy if we matched it. If we get good one. Yeah. Uh, the, re the reason I asked you, last year, July 31st, uh, expenses over revenues this time, we know we had a deficit last yeah. year. 
at that point it was tracking 85,000, this year 76,000. I know that we had a particularly bad August last year. Right. But um, I was just wondering how we were doing so far. And yeah. if you had the 35,000 on the rent, you jumped to 100. That's true. Yeah. We'll add to it. Right. But. Uh, I mean, as of right now, on a year year to date basis, total aggregate, we're forty five, roughly forty five thousand dollars to the good, in terms of general beach, you know, overall general beach mm -hmm. revenue and everything else, not counting the other and not counting the uh, uh, the, the rental. Well, I'm still going to reiterate the fact. And I've said this before. As a municipality. One of the services that you render usually to your residents or to non-residents as well is parks and to maintain parks as a cost, whether it be Crawford Park, the town of Rye, whether it be the parks in Rybrook or the parks in Port Chester, um, you don't break even because you have staff that maintains it, their expenditures, their capital improvements. And I think that's the reality. You, tr you always try to be careful. You don't want it to be such a deficit. Right. The only thing I have to add here is I, I guess I'm still a little bit... Um, dismayed that we're not doing as well to encourage our residents back. And um, when I look at the numbers of the of the yep. units, whether it be permit parking or uh, resident parking, um, we, we've still fallen down a bit. And we've also fallen down with, uh, with non-residents as well to... Uh, a little bit as well, but I, I, I still think we, we haven't gotten there to get the residents back, uh, <clears throat> even though that um, the appearance, the attitude is all fabulous. It's just, once again, how to get the residents back. It's not that you don't want the non-residents. It's the fact you want people to live locally yeah, to be able to take, to take advantage. Mm -hmm. So just, that's just something else that we'll think about as we go forward. Yeah. We did two mailings. Yeah. And, and we've gotten quite a bit of local... Uh, you did two mailings. One initially, as far as... Well, we did two mailings. One what was the, the second? whole town. Right, the whole town. To right, okay. And then Bill is doing uh, stories constantly that go into the local... Paper. Free press, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Sometimes yeah. into oh, yeah, the larger paper. Mm -hmm. And we're always trying to... Thinking away. No, May I ask, did we rule out whether we could uh, message it on the ta the town tax bill? I don't recall the. Uh, yeah, you cannot. Mm -hmm. yeah. You cannot. Mm -hmm. uh, there are things uh, you're yeah. you're very restricted in terms of what you can put, even as an insert into the envelope. Yeah. How about type it on the envelope? Yeah, yeah, I guess we. You know, they, the <laughs> state doesn't. Want actually, to I have that issue. We have that pay. issue in Portchester, actually. Yeah, but that's <laughs> you know, Mayor Pilla has a good idea. You know, just a little, just a little, little piece of art. Don't forget the beach. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Sign Stamp. up for your beach. Get your well, yeah, we can do it on the outside of the envelope. Yeah, on the outside yeah, of the envelope. What we've no, done really, in our it, mailings, we actually said beach permit and close. I'm looking at a little or, loophole or, in the wall, but maybe they're particularizing that on the bill itself or something like yeah. that. You can't. But I, do my it. understanding of the legal impl implications there is you cannot put anything in the envelope yeah. that's extraneous yeah, I remember other, than, actually we other than taxes. That, As it is, we put your little flyer in there, which which breaks down how the tax levy is used. Yeah, the uh, and thing, I so. think that that's about all you're allowed to do. Mm -hmm. All right. I think uh, the next uh, the next thing we'll discuss uh, with uh, Mr. <coughs> Taranzi. Mr. Taranzi. Mr. Mayor Pillar. How are you, Mayor? How are you? Good. <coughs> I, I know the um, recommendations just came out today. If you want to go, I know Mayor Feinstein is interested in going over them. Uh, and basically, bookkeeping observations. Sam, I just uh, sure. before you before you start, I just have to tell you how <clears throat> I don't know these accountants at all, but the fact that our last meeting that we discussed that they presented took place in June and it took two months. Um, I don't. The decision, as far as the accountants are concerned, yeah. is obviously a town decision. They, uh, I'm going to give you a little background. The, <laughs> the guy that handled their audit for the last three years, Jeff Jeff Brown, Brown. great guy, knew, this, knew the town. He left on them in November without any notice. Okay. The guy that took over, CJ, yeah. left in March. He, he left in the middle, middle of the audit. Of the audit. Okay. So, the so old here we were the with a brand new guy. Audience Bill Cochran, who did a nice job. Jim Leteria was still the partner in charge. 
But it was uh, it was, it was a very interesting uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> go round. Right, not to hear yeah, your point is well taken. And I had given these guys the numbers on January fifteenth, and the projections I think we made Bishop were pretty much what we ended up. I think we projected a hundred thousand dollar loss. I think yeah, that's where we're at. Okay, they came up with some findings. Basically, their first one, which they called a significant deficiency, which I had some. You know, we mean them, and I have 30 years' experience doing this myself. But basically, their comment was: at the end of the year, we have a deficit. At the end of the year, it creates a receivable from the town and the city. Okay, and that should be booked during the year. And that should be booked That's as an opening balances. Okay, I don't get that entry until June or July. So I, I, you know, I went back and forth with them. So they considered the fact that I did not create the receivable which would have wiped out the deficit in the fund balance as a significant deficiency. Well, you know what's interesting on that? I'm sorry to interrupt you, but we went from a discussion on the financials, but the, the one question I didn't ask was, where's the deficit, right? Where, I mean, where do we it, think we're going to be this year? It gets wiped out by year? a journal entry, Dennis. Yeah, right. no, you know, but I, but I mean, I think that what, you know, incorporating that into the big picture. So he said the, by the mm. fact that I didn't have that entry and I didn't show that as a receivable on the mm. balance sheet, you don't even see the balance sheet of this. All you yeah, see right, is the P&L here. Yeah. The balance sheet's only cash and, yeah. right, you know. But the fact that I didn't show that as a de uh, he considered a significant deficiency. I had my differences with him, but I wanted to get this report done and get it to you guys, okay? So you can make up your own mind whether you feel Feel that that's a significant. I, you know, I beg to differ. You know, if you look at my response, the final adjusting journal entry that is made on the books and records of commissioners to close out the operating capital accounts that are required to be funded by the town and the city. The entry basically records the receivable and essentially wipes out the deficit that was reflected in the current year. The effect is basically setting up a receivable recording sub subsidy income. That entry was not made on the books during 11. It, it had no effect on the operating losses for the year. The entry was made as an audit adjustment. The entry should have been made by staff. It was not. It was so, not made by my. It, it was. It never made it to the books and records last year because of the late. You know, by the time we did it, it didn't make any difference at that point, and it, it became an audit adjustment. So, Mr. You Tor didn't see it. You didn't know it, right. and it had no effect on, on the income and expenses. So, Mr. Torrenti, going forward, uh, is is the suggestion to? Well, I still haven't gotten put, to, put a receivable every year. Put a receivable. Uh, gonna, yeah, obviously. Now, now I've been learning. Yeah, yeah, receivable just, was made. The, yeah. you know, it was put in the books already. This you didn't know what we were talking about, right. though, right? You got a book, and I'm not going to bust your stones, yeah. but yeah. Well, he's got a, it's like anything else. Yeah. When you no, get ordered no, no. by the IRS, the guy's not going to sit there for f four days and walk away with nothing. So, I mean, I'm not going to put in that. They do a good job. Capital projects funds, he says, we, we don't have a capital. We don't have a separate set of books. What I do do is we do segregate the capital items in your in your expense report. I do not have a complete set of general general ledger for capital projects because we don't have a capital projects fund. But they threw that in there anyway, and you know I wasn't going to argue with the guy. You know he he says technically you should have it. We did yeah, identify. But we, do, we have roofing projects. I mean we yeah, do have a need for it, right? Yeah, what I do projects. is that we segregate it out of the P and L and we show it separately. Mm -hmm. He wants me to create a whole set of books for the stuff. five items that we do on capital projects. Uh, if that's if the board feels that that's critical, I'll, I'll incorporate it in this year. Okay. Uh, he also talked about the procurement policy. The the board, this commission doesn't have a procurement policy. We follow the town's procurement policy. It's just a matter of adopting a procurement policy in the next meeting uh, as a as a as a resolution. What else does he show? But that's not a significant. All right. The cash disbursements. You know. I don't know. What do we write? 200 checks a year, Bishop. 160 of them are rent. I mean, uh, I mean, our Con Ed, oh, I think telephone. Yeah, yeah. more than that. Okay. Maybe 500 checks. What he did is he, he went and he sampled 25 cash disbursements. He said one of the 25 cents was posted to an incorrect expense account. Okay. Um, Who which, posts this stuff? I do everything. I'm surprised. I do everything. One of the 25 did not have the appropriate backup documentation. I don't know which voucher that was. He never showed it to me. Um, he's, you know, I still to this day I don't know what the I don't know which one he was talking about. Uh, seven of the twenty-five selections were not properly approved. I will guarantee you those were either a telephone bill or a con ed bill. Wait, are these cash disbursements? Yes, yeah, cash disbursements. Mm -hmm. I will guarantee you they were. You I never saw. I never saw the sample. 
He had his order. He had his guy go in there, sample 20, and made a report. It's not like he gave me a spreadsheet and said, this was that, this, that, and I still haven't seen it. No, but it popped enough that this is a material deficiency. So, uh, no, he calls uh, it, what does he call it? He calls it a it's a sick, uh, no, it's not oh, no, it's it's other, other it's control other control compliance, compliance So it's not a material deficiency, no, but it's right. something that, yeah. Um, and then 25 of the 25 selections did not have general ledger of count codes on the voucher itself. What I do, when I enter the vouchers into the system, the account code gets into the system, I print out on a monthly basis the abstract of all the vouchers, and that goes with the, with the pile of vouchers. So, but how, do you, how could you have a voucher without an account? <laughs> I'm not an accountant, but right? No, no. Isn't it's, the voucher it's right? It's just a style. The you know, I mean, they, he, they would like to see the, well, because I'm doing everything. I, I know when I enter it into the, I, I get a voucher from Bishop. Okay, it gets entered into the system. I enter the code in the general ledger. It's already being posted to the general ledger. He wants me to write the code on, on the Not to manage your stock flow, but he needs a, how many accounts he have? Give him a form with boxes to check. Well, so you know? yeah. If you go back to the financial report that you just got, you'll notice a new column in there on yeah, the left. Yeah, the account codes. What we've done is just we've already put yeah. the account codes in for everything. And in twenty every every every, yeah, every, yeah, in every 2013, this was never will, a prior finding though. Is it there every year? Oh, is yeah. it? Why don't I? Remember? Is it there every year? Right. Oh, yes, significant yes. ones. Yeah, that was last year as well. It's in there every year. Yeah, it was last year. It may be in there next year too. Well, I hope no. not. No. I like it. It's a. It's. It's. There's no. Everything else was fine. I mean, like I said, I gave the numbers on January fifteenth. Um, and we were still, you know, going back and forth on this thing. Um, but uh, if there's any questions on the, the audit, if there's any observations, I will make an attempt to put the account numbers on the vouchers. The journal entry for the deficit has been made already. We get the procurement policy in the next meeting. <coughs> I don't know what else. These yeah, are, yeah. Uh, um, they're, they're re frankly, they're easily correctable. Yes, yes. Yeah, that's the great thing. So I think we should, sorry, speaking yeah. personally, I think we should strive to just make them all not read. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't have a problem yeah. with that. No, you know, the capital yeah, itself. That's always, always the intention. The capital thing may be a little, but other than but that. But we don't have that many of it, even yeah. if you did it like in Excel manually, not to tell you how to do your job, but you yeah. know, just don't charge us more. Yeah, I'm just going to say Two comments. Sure. On the capital, I mean, let's say we do have a surplus one year. We're going to want to put that, allocate that money someplace and build it up over time that when we do have real projects. So I do think we should have separate books. If that's yeah. how well, grants. Well, the reason why, well, the you know, Mayor, the other thing. is different than the general, yeah. the general account versus the capital account. Right. I would have to set up another complete well, general ledger. You have to transfer the money from capital to the general this is a general account. In order to, to use it. Mayor Fresh, what, what you normally would do, too, is if you allocated $50,000 and you didn't spend it, you theoretically, theoretically could roll it over the difference to the next year also. We haven't really done that here. Okay. But that's because, you know, we're always tight and we're always... Right. That would increase the deficit. Theory, no, we, haven't, we haven't been in capital mode lately. <laughs> yeah, right. I mean, this is the first year that we actually so even budgeted for capital. a capital right. item. Right. right, but but and technically, Doug, I would have to have I would have to have a checking account for capital projects. Okay, I have one. but but in theory, as the city of Rye, we've allocated I think seventy five thousand dollars. Let's say we come in at fifty thousand dollar loss. Our right. contribution is twenty five thousand. Yours is twenty five thousand, give or take. We may want to put that fifty thousand that we've allocated as a city into a capital fund, rather than not pay it. So that over time, as a city, we're investing in capital that can be spent when there are real needs, as opposed to giving it back to the taxpayers mm -hmm. and get it. So it, it, whatever mechanism works, well, the question we should I set up that way. Is, is how would we make the request to the city of Rye to ask the city of Rye to give us check for twenty-five thousand dollars that was not spent? Right. Well, they go, they what you would do, is, what you would do in the city of Rye at that point, you would transfer that money into the capital fund, and you would reserve yeah. in the capital fund for Rye Town Park. That's yeah. how you would keep track of that money on your end of the deal. On our end, yes. Okay, and then you would ask well, for. We would know how much you have. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Right. During the budget process, we would then pull that out of the hat and say, "Hey, we can add that extra twenty-five in." And, and perhaps do a more major project in terms of, for example, the bathroom building roof, which, uh, you know, even just okay. on a minimal repair side is $25,000. Uh, to redo is like more like 180. Um, you know, those kinds of projects, okay. I mean, are, are going begging, quite frankly. All right. So that's
The first comment. The second, this is, as we've laid people off in the city of Rye, one of the comments that came back in our audit was, really in the finance you needed a second pair of eyes, somebody, a second person to oversee the process, to sign off on things. Not about individuals, it's just about the process. Is there a way we can incorporate something like that here we, as well? well? We already have that. Yeah, I mean, we, we have, have that. the town controller, for example, reviews every invoice before I don't pay a bill unless, it's, unless he's looked yeah. at or the town controller so, signed off oh, on. Oh, you're not the town? Excuse me? There's, there's a different town controller? He's not the controller. No, no, no. no, no. We don't have a controller on, on Rye Town Park, per se, but town Dave Park. Burns, who's the town controller, reviews all of the Rye Town Park uh, vouchers. The internal auditor with Yeah. Right, in I, effect. I don't pay any bill unless it's been... Right. Approved by Bishop and then the controller. So and they didn't note that as a control issue. That would have been no. material. I mean, just so that everybody understands, the, the process here is, is the invoices may originate at Rye Town Park. I will get paperwork back from them saying that uh, we did get the service or we did get the materials or what have you. That's matched up with the invoice by the uh, clerk that's in my office. A voucher is then prepared. I review it, sign off on it, I then give it to the controller, the controller reviews it, signs off on it, and then it goes oh, in. Gotcha. Yeah, okay. I mean, it's, so, uh, they wanted to point it. We can, I'll bring it up. I mean, I, I handle the general ledger, and I do the bank reconciliation. <laughs> you know, I mean, we just don't have that many people in the office yeah. to do it. But I'm handling, you know, I mean, it's, you know, I could tell you ten ways on how things could happen. You're more. comfortable with that, though? Yeah. Well, I'm, I mean, I'm comfortable because I don't feel like losing my license over uh, over something that's going to, you know, I mean, I'm a CPA, and uh, I'm, you know, but well, it didn't show one up person, here, right? no, and that's, the, that's, you know, but he's worried about the, the, the codes on these. Well, I was going to say, I think the issue that, that Mayor French is talking about, it's not so much that there's a, a problem with the checks and balances of origination and approval right. and reconciliation, right. but moreover, it sounds that you need to tighten this whole purchasing receivable, or purchasing payables thing to have be more detailed for, you know, the yeah. backup research purposes that That's they know easy. it's easy to do. That's yeah. easy to recognize. Easy. And well, Terry, you know, with the capital, I mean, I, 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 I don't know why you have resources. I mean, you're sort of, we bulk up. i got to come up with a better idea on the capital. We might as well just open another checking account, Bishop. And, when, and, and physically put the money into a capital yeah, account, it, nah. and then as we take it, as we need a capital item, we take it down on that checking account. Because this is going to be here every year. Because I, you know, right. we usually do it through one general ledger, and I basically keep a sub ledger within the ledger. They don't want that. Yeah, and, those, and those checks are few and far between. Right. right. Okay. Um, Five uh, a year. Com Commissioner Salonitra. Quick question. Yeah, sure. What I got out of the report, which was uh, pretty interesting, is that they didn't comment on the fact that we run a deficit. <laughs> that there was no commentary about. Maybe we should do something different so we don't run a deficit. I, I know it's kind of yeah. a tricky thing, but uh, if it was a municipality, balance, if it was a municipality, it would have been you would have got written up because you have to budget for the right. deficit next year. Right. And, you know, you they know that there's a there's a there's a contractual agreement between the two communities that have to fund the deficit. Well, that's why they, well, between me and you, I don't even I don't know if they do this report on a governmental type of a thing. I'm not even too sure it's, it's a governmental thing, but it, it works, you know what I'm saying? It works. Well, what, what, I'm, what I'm getting even further than that is that since we do run a deficit, we run a deficit, is it a standard or an accepted, is it accepted by the order is that this type of a operation runs the, and, and normally runs in a deficit? They'll tell you that norm, they don't, they've never seen a park in, in New York State that doesn't run a deficit. Well, that, that's the point that Joan, yeah, the, the exactly point, it, too. It, is it's part of a service right. that you provide right. as a municipality. Right. And not I having mean, a negative... And I, and I think that, you know, for so long we've talked it. about being break game, and, but there's a real, there's realism here. It is. That's why, you know, in Porchester, in the city of Rye, you maintain your parks other than this. Well, and there's well, personnel, I, and unless you rent it out. It, I know it's a technicality, but the reality is, is you're an independent body and you have I an know. independent budget. Your budget is balanced at the end of the year because... The city of Rye contributes of a portion, and the town of Rye contributes a portion. So the Rye Town Park Commission budget is, is in fact, balanced every year. Absolutely. So I, I don't the know. The general that ledger, though, doesn't reflect right. that. That's correct. Yeah, so that's this correct. Reality. If you look at the audit Just report, put it at the front of the see, process, I forget not where back. it is. But they do make specific reference And then you make an adjusting entry that. at the end, right? Yeah. Yeah. So if deficits. you look in the footnotes, you'll yeah. see that there's a whole section that explains exactly how the capital is, is uh, paid for and how the deficit is paid for. Very good. Well, I, I just want to say one uh, quick thing. Um, and, I, and I say this every opportunity that I have to sit with this board. And 
from the park management, and Freddie and, and Bill left from the park management uh, that we see, and the effort that goes into every day, it is great. And and then from the financial standpoint, the bookkeeping, Bishop, I'm, I have, and I'm, and I'm sure that uh, everyone here has seen the difference. I mean, this is leaps and bounds of, of what of what this what what the reports were that were received, you know, just eight years ago. And uh, that is that's a, a true test of the effort. And anyone, I think, coming into any of these positions, any of these seats here, can pick up a report and go right into the position and understand what's happening on a day to day. That's that's a true test of now it's a repeatable process. Correct. Yes. That's a true a test of process. whether or not you yeah. you you've made a, you made well, a difference. So that's good, Bill. The, the, the year the prior year numbers are reliable enough that when right. you look at your this year number and you compare them to last year's number, you it's can really see the trend. You're yeah. not looking at something that maybe was right last year. Maybe we, we really concentrate on making sure the, the monthly yeah, numbers wow. are as tight as they can be. Yeah. You know, in May, June, July, August, and September, because then you guys are comparing them to actuals, and, and, and that's important. And that also that also gives a, a really a better uh, better teeth to the mayors that sit on this no, board. It helps Doug because he needs to, he needs a number by September or October. More, more importantly, <laughs> we, it's know, all we have plenty of money to do. Right? The mayors <laughs> the mayors of this board can go back can go back to their their boards, and when they're talking about you know the finances on, on this commission, right. and speak with solid numbers, you know. Uh, I think that's very important, so I want to thank you. Yeah. Great job, I, also, I also want to thank, and I've said it before, I really think that um, the volunteers in particular in the City of Rye and the different committees have really had an impact. Yeah, They've held our feet to the fire, and, and the staff too, and they've really had wonderful input. And uh, I, the volunteerism, uh, <laughs> we were just talking, <laughs> um, um, Deputy uh, Supervisor Villanova, the fact that volunteerism is not always so rampant lately, but in, in the city of Rye, those volunteers have really made a difference. Has really helped us, whether it be the court counting or certain suggestions, um, and it's helped us as well, and the staff. So, yeah. absolutely. Okay. Anything else we should discuss tonight? Correspondence requests. No. Make a motion to adjourn. Just at the next meeting, okay. an agenda item about uh, expanding the size of the commission to add one more. Rice City are member. Gonna, are we going to discuss that at the next meeting? Doug's yeah. giving up yeah. a seat. Put it on the agenda. No, no, no. <laughs> Add one seat. Um, may I? May I? But the, the date of our next is. We'll have to talk. Uh, I about. think it's the nineteenth. I don't. I just. I don't have my calendar. It may be a holiday. Oh, I have to look at my. So I have to look. Yeah. 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 September 19th is a Wednesday. I can't tell you if it's Okay, wrong. then it's the, the 18th. 18th. It's the 18th. Oh, that's okay. It's it's a, and it's Russia it's a second on night. a second day. Well, since I don't observe second day, I'll be here. <laughs> 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 Not first day. Okay. Because I have some real strong thoughts on that. That's so, me French. <laughs> just have that on the agenda. <laughs> All right, so we Time have, everything. We have a uh, motion uh, to adjourn. Do I have a second? So moved. All second. in favor? Aye. Aye. All opposed? Very good. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you. Do we also want to